Keith has completed the first set of engine former controls. These are awaiting Bob's approval as Bob is a CAA registered engineer and chief engineer for the project. This one came off the wing. You can see the plywood has rotted away. These look like chamfered, and I thought, well, who now has got that chamfer like that? <laughs> and they're straight, aren't they? What? Yeah, that's just a Scotch bright mark. That's really good. Yeah. And round there as well. Yeah. That's a good effect, really. Just to take the burr off them. Yeah. Alright, yeah. oh, okay. We'll have a look what everyone else has been doing. Just a bit of hand work. Just squaring this up yeah, and then it will just slide in there lovely. Well, have you tried it? No. <laughs> Confident. Oh, well, we're it's left. Phil's door so it's got to fit perfectly else he won't accept it. What's that? <laughs> Phil's door section oh, isn't it? Oh it's yes. It's not fit perfectly he'll just reject it. Yeah. yeah. There's no tolerance. No there isn't. Dave's working on the last former of the front section of the rear fuselage. Plus all minus nothing he says, isn't it? Yeah. Last one, then I'm on to in doing intercost with it on the floor. Oh good. Uh, yeah. something something different. Yeah. Morning John. John's done nothing in that. I know, yeah. yeah. More yeah. complicated than mine, though. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, John's working on the B25 bomber, making a new rear fuselage frame, which was badly damaged. Down. the big trial. See if it fits. <laughs> have to turn the camera off for now just in case. You'll surely want some variation without seeing Dave do that again. See another one of them. Yeah. That's, that's all in with the double and everything. So it's just one to paint up. Hasn't yeah, this one been painted? Oh no, that's, 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 that's the last one. Yeah. Yeah. Difficult to see the double in there. Yeah, yeah, it is. That's good though, because it must be a good fit if you can't see the gap. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. And when you finish this, what you're doing now, the mm. former, yeah. and you'll go on to the intercostal. Yeah, I've done some of them, they're all under there, but yeah. I started doing for them, but I've got all them to do the hanging around there. Yeah. Are, are they going to be all new intercostals? Looking that way, are they? Yeah. yeah, they're pretty much all damaged. Yeah. How will you go um, fitting them? Will you fit them all? Do any riveting? I'm going. I'm going to need Norm to get his stringers in along the bottom before I can fit them. Yeah. Because that, that sets where they where they go. 
so I'll, I'll just make them all for now, let them catch up a bit, put the string in, and then I can drill them all off. And then once that's all in, then I can shift to the back and do the work that's required there. Well, Norman and Phil probably do waxing skins on. Hopefully, that's the plan. Yeah. We'll see. So we're looking for completion end of November. No. 2024. <laughs> Chris is showing and advising Jacob on riveting. I have to do a lot of editing, you know, when yeah, I get a lot of sneaking about. Have you seen my new panels on the front? They're all right, they're Yes, they? yeah, I'm just going to have a good film of those. Yeah, they're all right then. Yeah. Come out all right. You're all right, one of those old fashioned photographs with an oval frame. That's all right, isn't it? Yeah, like just put it. Eh? Yeah, all right, that's that's really it. good. That. I reckon Let me just get you right, in the middle, right. yeah. Two in the front, and then I've got to replace that one. And then so just these really. And then what Sem what Sem's done? That's all the skins done. You know what I mean? Yeah. Good. So all the skins are done. And then obviously, have you seen the turret assembly? The aids done. He's done yeah. all the turret assembly. Yeah. Have you seen it with all the perspex? He's brought yeah. it with all yeah. the perspex. So hopefully then we can start fitting this out. And get it Oh, you'll be putting that one in here, will you? That turret assembly is off, in this, in. Is off this off this nose section. So the one that Aid's done, where he's, re he's, yeah. he's redone it and done all the first bit, it's off this nose section. So it'll go off of it, we'll get this nose section fixed, and that turret will drop in here. I think the nose section will go on. Yeah. Then we we'll drop the and then drop the turret in. Yeah. I think that's how they do but it. You'll drop the turret in just to make sure it's. Oh, yeah, we'll do a trial right. fit before we start. Yeah, you don't want to get it up then. then. You know what I mean? No, no. Oh, yeah. yeah, it's coming on. It is, it's cracking up well.
Yeah, we've got past the day. Yeah. Good. The Lancaster's just finishing off his taxi run. These are what for um, the engine controls, the rods, run through those holes. Oh yeah. Right. Oh, they're tough and all those, aren't they? What? Yeah. They're old fashioned. <coughs> yeah. These sit in that slot. And these brackets attach them. Okay, yeah. Like that? Yeah. So they actually sit like that in the aeroplane. So you've got holes underneath for some controls and yeah. holes on top. Yeah. And you've got, to, you've got to bear that, that these mount on the aeroplane up that way. Yeah, on the leading edge. Yeah. Yeah. Right. But they, they, they sit that way up. Yeah. <coughs> Sit. Uh, not quite sure which way around these go. I think it must be must be that way. Let me see the fit that way. And they sit with a metal face onto downwards. the uh, downwards. Yeah. Onto the cleats. Yeah. And then the wood sits vertical in the yeah, slot. Uh, and, that, and the rods run and horizontal. The rods run through it. Yeah. And that's it. And that, how many of those do you put them? Yeah, it's five. Five. There's one there, one there, one here, and one at the end. One there and one there. And they're there for engine control, <coughs> those rods. Yeah, engine controls. Yeah. And they, there's also some uh, fair leads that go onto them, that the, uh, the vacuum pipes and mm -hmm. everything, they sit in the fair leads. Yeah. And they're actually mounted on, on here as well. Yeah. Oh, good. Thanks, Keith. So there's all these little jobs in. Oh, yeah. Look, so you've nearly well, completed are, it. You think these are getting the bits and getting it all made and everything. These have all taken me, what, two weeks? Yeah. So you had to make the metal, you had to make the wood, put all the holes in it. Then I've had to make the wooden blocks. And they're all different, dog, they're all different. Oh yeah, they're all different. Yeah. Yeah, they're all yeah. different. And you see that one's... The shapes of them, from where they sit. Yes. Yeah. And that's the very end one that goes on Route 22. Yeah. That's the biggest one of all. Yeah. And the slots seem to be getting wider there as the. Yeah. Is that just where they goes down just towards where, Route yeah. 22 then? Yeah. That, that's that's the most outboard one. Yeah. It goes that one, that one. That one, you can see the slots are getting smaller. Yes, yeah. 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 And this one will be right there on next to the engine then. The yeah. red next to the yeah. engine now. That one, that one sits nicely. Yeah. Yeah. Does it kind of add that to that handle on it? Sorry? Why does it have this piece here? Bugger. I don't know. <laughs> I've got a clue. <laughs> it might, might be that way around. Yeah. Yeah, I think. Might be that there way around. Must be some reason it fastens it. There must be something here yeah. that actually 
And these pieces of toughnel in here, are you replacing them or are they okay? Well, these? Yeah. No, they're all right. They're, yeah. they're the originals. Yeah. Yeah, they're fine. Good. All right, thanks, mate. Lift a little slide. Huh? Lift a little slide. See, what oh, I find yeah. when I'm inside there, and I'm trying to do riveting, because that pallet sat on a set of wheels, when you try and push anything against it, it starts sliding away from me. Do you know what I mean? So I'm wobbling about like a pillock inside. <laughs> 